Well, there's always a special feeling when Hamzat Shumayev makes the walk, whether at welterweight or at middleweight. This man has proven to be a real problem and really has lived up to all the hype and then some dating to his 2020 UFC debut. It's so hard for you to meet expectation, much less exceed it. Right. Hamzat Shumayev has exceeded the expectations set for him when he made his UFC debut. He has been nothing short of a buzzsaw, just going through guys at a rate that not anyone could have expected. What a fantastic fighter we get to watch every time we see Hamzat in the octagon. And of course, many people harken back to the Gilbert Burns fight in 2022, the consensus fight of that year in which Chimaev was challenged and still rose to the occasion. We'll see how he fares tonight. Hamzat Chimaev steps inside the octagon. He is ready to fight. So Islam Makashev getting back on the proven ground here tonight, putting his undisputed UFC lightweight championship on the line. So much to love about this man's mixed martial arts acumen, his fight IQ, and you got to think it's going to take the very best out of his opponent to rest the belt away tonight. Anyone, anyone that hopes to beat Makhachev has to be on their game. Your wrestling's got to be on point. Your striking's got to be on point. But more than anything, you have to have a steel mind. You cannot break in front of Mahachev because he will then drown you. This guy is a champion for a reason. And as you have seen time and time again, Hasbula ha. joins the Dagestanis in the octagon. Perhaps that's an X factor tonight. The great Hasbula in the corner of Islam Mahachev. Islam Mahachev ready to engage yet again here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this welterweight fight. All right, now to get us started, we go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Hamzat Borsh Jabaya! And now we produce his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Islam Makachev! Herb Dean, our referee Ready, for this one. Ready. Good. All right, round getting underway, and we take a look at the Combat Sambo World Champion and UFC lightweight contender, Islam Akashev. What will he do in this fight? Well, oftentimes he does whatever he wants to do. Certainly he can impose his will on the ground, where his game is just so nuanced when it comes to the throws and the trips and the manipulation of joints and everything else. But on the feet, in a kickboxing setting, this man has proven a lead as well. A true five-tool player who many believe by year's end could just be the king of the lightweight division. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Oh, how good was that combo? He is really doing a nice job stringing his shots together now. Look at the skip action that allows you to land that big knee. Nice. Nicely done. Makashev gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. Just over three minutes to go, round one. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length. Of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. Islam Akashev getting peppered here from the top. He's got to figure out a way to cover up. All right, north-south position now. We'll see who transitions first. Ooh, that Kimura looks tight. 
You gotta be kidding me. How did he get out in front? He just gave a call. He was able to withstand the fire. Now he finds himself out and safe. Slicing and dicing. Looking good with these elbows tonight, champ. Oh, he locks up the triangle now, DC. This could very well be the beginning of the end. Oh, it looks like the end of the fight. It looks like this one is about done. This guy is a triangle expert. He got it set up. He jumped on it so quick. Oh, submission defense on full display there. He said that he was very aware of what this guy brought to the octagon and it showed in that defense. All right, so the storyline in this one has been Hamzat Shimaev of the wrestling and the grappling. A lot of people felt like he could win a fight on the feet tonight, but taking the path of least resistance. We have seen him win with his striking, but it always looks easier whenever he's taking his opponent down. I mean, think of Kevin Hollow, a good fighter himself that Hamzat made look like a novice. When he can use the wrestling, when he's finding success in that realm, he's very difficult to deal with and one of the best fighters in two weight classes in the UFC. Ten seconds now to go on the round. Nice job by him defensively there. Five minutes in the books. All right, well, the crowd enjoyed those five minutes. DC, take us through some of the highlights from that previous round. Face punching at its best. Ha, he loaded it up, he threw it straight, he threw it long, and over and over, that punch found the target. It allowed him to really dictate the pace of that round. Ready to fight? Ready. All right, second round underway. All right, next round is now underway. DC, any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The match oh, man. He's affecting straight punches we've seen all night. Huge straight punch lands, and he's got it hurt very bad. Look at him attacking that guillotine. Oh, that killing is tight. Submission defense. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Hamza Chimai. All right, north-south position here. We'll see if the crowd can be mature about this, DC. That dark choke is tight. He's got it locked in. Oh, he got out. He got out with the finish. John, I thought it was over. I thought it was done, it was so tight, it was deep. They were hip to hip. I thought the fight was done. Great job and awareness by this young man to defend that dark shirt. Well, he's worked very hard on this part of his game and these ground strikes are really starting to take their toll. Shimaev's in half guard. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you gotta be careful here. These are big shots, and they're not glancing blows. When he's throwing, he is landing so clean that his head is starting off the mat. All right, so look at that. A cut has been opened around that eye area. He's taking shots over and over again to that area, and now he's dealing with a cut. Shimaev's nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those offerings from his opponent. Now some separation from his first position. Oh, maybe the best strike he's thrown tonight. The biggest shot that he's landed all night. A massive uppercut lane. Well, I'm no fighter, but if I rock a guy to that extent, I feel like I'm closing the show. Absolutely. You gotta go close the show. Man, this is wild. These guys are both throwing everything with fight-ending intentions. Now some uppercuts. He better move, John. He can't... Oh! You heard him bad. Two. 
All right, so the round is over. The swelling on the fighter's eye is getting out of control at this point in time. Maybe they bring in the doctor to see if his vision has been impaired. It has certainly been compromised to some extent here. But again, he has had no answer for the offense coming back tonight. And as such, that eye is nearly swollen shut. All right, as they attend to the damaged fighter, we will re-rack some replays for you. A lot of damaging strikes landed by the opposition in that. You ready to fight? You ready? Let's Third round underway. All right, so after one of the more entertaining rounds in recent UFC history, our next round is upon us. Man, those guys both took some serious damage in that previous round. They both took some damage, but they both gave it. They both gave it as well as they took it. Let's see who looks and goes down first. Makashev's eye starting to close up. Got to get that end swell on it between rounds if we get there. Single leg takedown. Right back. Really using his physicality to his advantage now. He lifted up the neck and snuck his arm underneath to try to get a choke. Oh, Darcy oh. choke locked and loaded. Darcy choke locked in and thrown in a matter of time, but he cannot rush. He's got to control his opponent so he doesn't lose him in the spring. Oh, somehow he gets out. He fantastic submission, D. Well, you know this is the hurt business, and both like guys that. are compromised like at this that. stage of the fight. Yeah, both guys are compromised. Both guys have been beat. Oh, could get a finish soon. Looks like a Darce choke. Oh, that Darce choke is tight. He's gonna go to sleep. It's over. Makashev's in half guard now. Well, I'm not sure if there's a facial fracture of some kind, but the striking approach has certainly worked tonight, and his opponent is hurting for sure. He's hurting really bad right now. I mean, every single time, the shot's... Oh, I was trying to guillotine. That guillotine is tight. Oh, man, that was slick. Good job being a threat off your back and not allowing your opponent to get comfortable. Oh, he's in trouble here, DC. He's got the triangle with a lot of pressure going down on his opponent. Oh, he got out again. He did it again. This guy's a magician. He just keeps on escaping. A big ground and pound. This is some exhausting work, man. I mean, it is so tiring to be fighting in this way. So much wrestling, so much grappling. Expending all this energy trying to hold the guy down. I mean, it, 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 no takedown is not fought. No reversal is not fought. Everything they're doing is fought to the very last minute before it gets given up. He's got the Kimura locked in now, but he's got to be patient. He's got to step up. Oh, how good is this submission defense? He is out of danger again. He recognized the danger, got himself out of it, and now he fights on. Oh. oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round. Saved by the bell. So back to the stool. Mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. All right, well, one minute of end swell can only do so much. Let us look back at some of the damaging strikes in that previous round. It doesn't seem like it's going to do much. And if it does... He can't take any more of these shots. He was too stationary. He took everything square on the target. He's got to move his head, and he's got to be proactive. You ready to fight? You ready? All right, here's round four. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. Nice punch there by Hamza Chimai. So you got to question the fight IQ at some point. He's got an outstanding offensive takedown game. His ground and pound strikes are vicious, yet hasn't done any of that. He's listened to the stories, John. He's listened to the stories. He's allowed for this guy to be bigger and badder than he truly is. He's allowed for this man to become such a specimen. Makashev's trying for the Kimura submission here. Oh, that Kimura looks tight. Oh, 
submission defense was able to take his arm off and stay safe. That guillotine is very tight. Oh, he escapes! He got up! See, wow, that is great submission defense. Looking for the arm triangle. Ooh, this could be it. That thing is tight. That arm triangle is deep. He may finish this fight by submission. around for too long. Now drops inside that closed guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. Makhachev's back in half guard. Very comfortable here. Trying to set up a choke here. Oh, look out, folks. That is tight. It looks like it's getting going. Oh, that has got to be it. And the oh, yes! Result here tonight by way of submission, and he bided his time there. He stayed patient, waited for an opening, and then when it was there, he certainly capitalized to get the tap here tonight. All right, so a wild round and a wild sequence there on the ground, DC. Talk us through the highlight. He's such a phenomenal grappler. I don't understand how people don't know that this guy wants to submit you. He is the best grappler, best submission specialist we've seen in a long time. We send it inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is called to stop to this contest at four minutes, 57 seconds of round number four. For the winner, by submission, Islam Malkachev! Well, the celebration is on in his corner, and hard to blame these guys, sort of waiting to exhale, get a huge win tonight, and not just the win, but they get it by submission. They knew what they had in front of them. They knew how tough a competitor his opponent was, but they also knew that if they could get this fight to the ground, they could find a submission. They found a submission. He got his hand raised in the way that he loves the most. 